first fears comes true. I'm nearly 40 kilometers away from home and Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting video where we explore new places like Vasalemma Manor, complex of abandoned house in Rummu, Patise Abbey, Spithami Radar Station and also go Nuarochi Parish where I'd never been. Nuarochi was historically the only parish in the, on the Estonian mainland where most of the local residents were Estonian, Swedes uh, and some technical problems with the bike and uh, a lot of ground to cover in the day, so let's get started. It's a familiar place, in fact, uh, I was here a couple of years ago when I filmed the episode touring abandoned houses on an e-bike. It all been scrapped now, the settlements nearby, so definitely smart decision from uh, a safety point of view. They were apartment buildings and large warehouses, some picture of what it was like before. Whatever I happen to pass by, I always came here, either just to eat or to rest my feet. And it was also a good place for a photo shoot, for example. Padise Abbey was the warmer Cistercian monastery in Padise in Harju country, Estonia settled in 1310 by disposed monks of Dunamite uh, Abbey in Latvia, it was converted into a fortress after in dissolution in um, 1559 and uh, later used as country house until 1766. The ruins have been particularly restored and made into a museum. As I was riding, I suddenly heard a clicking sound. I stopped at the bike and looked at what I found. It was a large piece of metal with sharp end was inside a tire. The crack is massive uh, and you're probably wondering why the tire hasn't burst into the bank and still full of wear. This is a Swabo Gracie Bob cheap tire with no or low puncture protection. Punctures occur every 1000 kilometers on average, so the solution I came up with was place another worn tire inside outer tire. As you can see, it works beautifully, and here why I'm not, I'm not worried 
Without a backup tire, I had to cancel the trip. But uh, nothing will stop me on this amazing summer day. No traffic, no people. That's the way I like to be served. I don't smoke cigarettes, I don't drink alcohol or go to parties. My stress relief riding my e-bike. I've covered over 80,000 kilometers since 2018, averaging uh, 40 to 50,000 kilometers per year. It shows you don't need car to travel far. Bye bye. This bike has a very noisy motor. What makes this motor really noisy is the controller which has no cinematic technology. Somehow I like the noise, it symbolizes something powerful. I keep an eye out, it doesn't seem to have get any worse. The tire replacement process is time consuming and <laughs> I don't really look forward on it. I stopped at very interesting bus stop, which in English is supposed to mean mosquito. Very interesting.
In the meantime, I lost my camera and had to search for it on foot. I carelessly based on the camera on my bike frame, I didn't notice it fall into the hay. Bloody hell, I realized that I had been on private land all along, even though the instruction mentioned here should been have Lake Stone, I uh, apologized to Landauer, the sign was too high up to notice immediately. There are problems with the main battery, one series is weak and pulls the wall back down, so I'm keeping an eye on it, on its health. Now it's time for battery change. The swap was successful and I'm ready to rock. The ruins of Roslepa Chapel date back to 17th century, originally it was constructed as a wooden chapel. The current stone chapel was built in 1834, the chapel went into a disrepair after World War II, but sanctuary which was since uh, been fully restored, it was rededicated in August 2007, the chapel now boasts new belfry complete with ball and uh, weather vane. The weather vane features the, the big session of whale with his uh, tooth mouth open. The Pusabea Promontory is renowned as one of the prime locations in northern Europe for observing uh, waterfall migration. Uh, a significant migration route for Arctic water birds passes directly over this uh, promontory. The construction of the outpost commenced in uh, 1958. It's believed that the military unit from Ossusar was transferred here. Before the barracks were completed, tents were used and senior officers were housed on local farms. The construction included uh, barracks, a canteen and technical facilities. The outpost's uh, diesel power generator also supplied electricity to the village. In 1993, the military unit was moved to Leningrad Oblast in Russia. What remains of the radar station are two large uh, mounts uh, on command center, several technical bunkers, a garage for equipment transportation, few pillboxes and some ruins of its uh, residential quarters. Only the deteriorating canteens remains. Serious door. <laughs> uh. 
Ooh. Get out of here. All right. Oh. Uh, three seal, three snack. After an exhausting day on, on the e-bike, I'm looking for a quiet place to set up hammock and eat and chill. It's not far from where I stayed years ago when I've been with my 1000 km tour around Estonia on a regular bike. Now I look at the place with nostalgia. In the past, I was dedicated traditional cyclist, and my dense dislike for electric bikes left me ignorant about them. In 2017, I embarked on a 1000 km cycling journey around Estonia within a week, and it was during this adventure that I spent my first night. Time flies, and although I have the video footage, it remains unedited for now. Perhaps in the future it will find its way to the editing table. I like oatmeal with. Uh, with honey. Oh man, that's so thick. Break my spoon. Actually, I didn't get any uh, any sleep. I don't know why. Sometimes I sleep like baby. But today, maybe it's the cold wind or. My temporary solution for mounting saddle post came into play when originally one broke to an excessive force. Now I'm waiting for new clamp from Ukraine with along with new saddle solution. Total distance covered at uh, 254 kilometers. The puncture record at 70 kilometers. And my calculation I've driven over 114 kilometers with damaged tire, finger crossed to get home. The frame called Enduro in collaboration between Ukrainian and Chinese steel frame manufacturers, uh, I sampled it from start to finish. For this trip, I bought along three batteries weighing a total 34 kilos. The main battery is 52 volt, um, 3 kilowatt Boston swing. The Panasonic is the 48 volt uh, PF 1.6 kilowatts and front battery pack is 52 Panasonic NCR 2 kilowatts. I had battery made here in Estonia. The components were ordered from Encon, uh, a legitimate battery shop in Europe, so there's no counterfeits. Um, the bike is primarily designed for hand throttle operation. 
although you can also use pedals which I do time to time. It's a beautiful bike with characteristics and I really like it. Damn it! Don't count your chickens before they hatch. My first fears comes true. I'm nearly 40 kilometers away from home and having problems with my tire. The electric air pumps stopped working, which is to be expected from low-cost product made in China. I'm attempting to make a temporary fix, as it seems the tire has come to lose. While repairing the tire, I accidentally damaged the rubber, and I had to apply extra patch. It's likely the same puncture I damaged early in the day, when small rock apparently go into the inner tube, even though I carry regular hand pump with me. Uh, the electric pump is more efficient because it infects the tire faster, allowing me to locate a hole more easily. In the past midnight at 12 o'clock, and some mosquitoes are buzzing around me, but not so bad. I'm happily at home, the tire is still filled with air, some uh, statistic on the ride. This episode achieves a record duration of over 20 minutes, a milestone. I never read in my previous videos, if you enjoyed this content please hit the like button. And if you appreciate what I do, consider subscribing, your support keeps me motivated. Feel free to share any suggestions or questions in the comments. Also, I've surpassed 1000 subscribers, I'm incredibly grateful, thank you all so much. Get ready for the next episode where I'm aiming out to my personal best on a recommend bike uh, on single day. The 361 kilometers mark from 2020 is about to left behind. And things are going smoothly, I'm excited and I hope you see all witness it. Your support keeps me going and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!